Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm over here on the outside of my woodshed. I'll show you what I got going on here in a second. Welcome any new subscribers. I've seen there's been a few new uh, names popping into the comments, so I appreciate that. Appreciate you being here. Glad that you're here and hope you are enjoying the channel. So, all right, let me show you what I got going on here. So what I'm doing is I've taken this outer row of wood and I've thrown it in over the top of these two rows. I started working my way back, um, burning wood. And then I, uh, I've gotten through two rows and then there was three more before I got to the edge and the end of the shed. And this side of the shed faces west and during the winter we get a lot of wind a lot of snow everything is blowing from the west so it's blowing in there so what i want to do now is i want to take some of those rounds that i bucked up the other day in that other video and some other um oak that i want to season for next year i'm going to build myself a wall right here to act like a windbreak and to keep the snow from blowing in and to just make this uh well, to prepare for next year, seasoning it, and like I said, to create a little windbreak. Because otherwise what happens is I end up using up this wood and then eventually I'll use this up and then this whole wall is just exposed to the outside elements and everything just blows in. I do have a half wall over there that blocks. So I'm not too concerned about that end down there being open but I would like to get this closed off. So all I'm doing is basically, you know, just moving the wood a little bit, creating the space that I can now store and season wood for next year. And then next year it'll be ready to go. So you remember how I was saying back in my wood yard, I had finally gotten thing kind of figured out and found the location of where I want to keep the splitter. <laughs> well, now I'm going to move it again temporarily i'm going to bring it right up here next to the woodshed we're going to haul up a bunch of those rounds that we bucked up the other day stage them right here run them through the splitter and then just split and stack right out the end of the splitter fill in that wall make a little windbreak and start storing some wood for next season
as you can see, the little John Deere still struggles. I got one little hill to get up, and if I got too much weight in this wagon, even with those chains on for traction, man, I just can't, it just won't go. So I'm gonna have to load it up a little lighter. I decided to take this tree down when I did because you can see all of his bark is falling off and he's just starting to get to that point where he'd start to develop that punk that soft punky wood you can see there it's a little bit but if I would have waited another year on this guy I think he would have been in a far worse shape like all these pieces are still solid all the way to the edge a little bit right here is flaking off but for the most part I think I brought him down at just the right time that's the little pile I've started so far um, probably got oh maybe three three to four more trips depending on <laughs> how heavy of a load I put on the wagon so now that the days are getting shorter with daylight savings ending, I don't have much time to get out here after work and get too much done. <laughs> so that's gonna about do it for today's video. I know I'm in need of a better material handling piece of equipment besides this little John Deere lawnmower, lawn tractor. Um, but <laughs> I just, I can't decide which way to go, what brand, what model, what, you know, tractor, skidster, um, you know, I don't know. And by the time I figure it out, I probably won't have any more wood to haul out of my woods anyway. <laughs> so then it's going to get into a, what's the easiest way to just transport, you know, maybe logs from the front, from the old wood yard back to the new one, like maybe, you know, a tractor with a grapple, you know, so... There's just all these factors that are spinning around that I just don't know for sure which way to go. So we'll keep uh, pondering on that, seeing what we come up with. But as you can see tonight, that cart gets a little too much weight in it. And you know, my other way that I come down, well actually now that I have got the splitting operation in the wood yard moved back there, that little hill, I'm always gonna be coming up it. So I either have to decrease the grade and, you know, make it a more gradual incline, which that might not be a bad idea. I have to look into that before the ground freezes. Because once the ground freezes, then I'm stuck. So that's another thing we're gonna have to think on, how to handle that little incline up out of that little ditch. So if you guys got any suggestions, let me know. I think it might be best to just take some dirt from the bank and just level that grade off a little bit. So instead of like this, maybe make it like this. Just extend it back. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. Again, appreciate all your support. Appreciate the comments. Hope you're enjoying everything. Stay safe, have fun, be cool. See you next time.